Hello, and welcome to this year's Vex Robotics competition, Buoy Brawl. The game is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot playing field, covered by 36 foam tiles. White lines placed on the field assist robot movement during autonomous and indicate alliance territories in the central neutral zone. Each alliance of two robots starts on opposite sides of the field, and all robots must fit within an 18 inch cube at the beginning of a match, with at least one point of contact with an alliance starting tile. There are six movable buoys on the field, and two towers, specific to each team and denoted with a colored flag. 30 purple urchins are placed on each side along the tape, indicating alliance territories, and three mega urchins are placed along the field center. Each team is also given five urchins to use as match loads, but up to two may be used as preloads instead. Urchins are made of plastic and have 12 rigid spikes, pleated to aid in scoring. Purple scoring urchins are three inches across, with a diameter of three-fifths of an inch, and spikes one and one-fifth inches in length. Orange mega urchins have double the dimensions of purple urchins. To count as scored, urchins must touch the mesh of the buoy or another scored urchin, and not be in contact with the robot or field element. Regular urchins scored on a tower are worth two points each. Buoys must be touching an alliance territory to count for three points for each urchin scored on it. The point value on a buoy is doubled if it is fully over and touching the plane in the line starting tile. A mega urchin deducts five points per buoy from the team whose buoy it is scored on, regardless of the buoy's location. Mega urchins scored on towers have no effect on scores. While an offensive game, robots are not allowed to pin another against a field object for more than five seconds at a time nor are they allowed to intentionally grasp the poles holding up the towers. Robots must also be touching an alliance starting tile of the same color to be match loaded. The game begins with a 20 second autonomous period, followed by two minutes of driver control. The alliance that has more buoys on their territory at the end of the autonomous period is awarded a 15 point autonomous bonus, while the alliance that controls the most buoys at the end of the match is awarded a 10 point match bonus. If both alliances have an equal number of buoys, no points are rewarded. Let's see a match. Alliances, are you ready? Autonomous in three, two, one. Both red robots move to the center of the field, and one returns with a buoy. One of the blue robots begins taking an urchins. The other blue robot rushes to cut off the red alliance, expanding to obstruct the field. Red alliance controls two buoys, while the blue alliance controls one. Red alliance wins the autonomous bonus. Drive control in three, two, one. Looks like both alliances are racing to descore points from each other. Red Alliance manages to wrestle one buoy from blue control, but a blue robot drops a buoy loaded with mega urchins on red territory. The match looks close. Let's go count the scores. Blue Alliance wins the match. 